I'm sorry, Ed. What possible bit could I do at the start of this? I... There's nothing I can play off of aside from the... Pew, 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 pew. Anyway. Hello and welcome back to another Plum Overview. Today we're taking a look at the Customize Effect Gunfire Image version in yellow. Well, there's no articulation to go over, so um, I guess let's move right along to what comes in the kit. You get a short beam effect, a long beam effect, a um, sort of electric shot, and then a thin one with sort of barrel rifling molded into it. All of which end in a 3mm port. Then you get six uh, blast, let's call it, effect parts, two rings, and then some different muzzle flashes, two rounded ones. The larger one fits onto the smaller one, by the way. Then sort of a ring. I don't really know how else to describe it. And then a cross, presumably for a Call of Duty hitscan. And then of course you get the standard arm and attachment points that come with all of these customized effects. And for once, let's just skip size comparisons since you can see how big they are in these diorama shots. To wrap this review up, these are pretty cool effect parts. And here's a little trick. The thin beam, you can actually slide the smaller ring down the long end and have a double ring set up, which I think looks really nice. They don't mention this in the instructions and it's not really something you're meant to do, but hey, it works. Uh, there is one issue with them though, and that is they unfortunately aren't really compatible with the barrels of most weapons, so you do have to use some sort of arm to hold them up. This only comes with one, though if you have some other effect sets, they usually come with extra arms, so it's not a big deal as long as you get a couple of other effects. The cards here for the other ones being shown, by the way. But I do overall quite like these effects. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, sort of electric beam, but it's not a big deal. I do like the rest. Whether you want to use them for photography or just to spruce up your shelf, these add quite a bit of flair to any display you really want to have them on. Anyway, that's all for this review. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, helps a lot. Subscribe and hit the bell for future reviews. Go follow me on Twitter for updates. And consider supporting me on Patreon so I can keep making reviews just like this one. And as always, until next time, happy building.